how do you discern that God is guiding you? During their exodus from Egypt, the children of Israel were led by God with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. In Matthew 4, 1, we are told that Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. However, in our lives, how can we be certain that God is leading us on the path He desires for us? I believe that recognizing God's voice through His Word and receiving confirmation from others are strong indicators that you are walking in the path God has planned for you. The Bible affirms that your Word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. God's Word is one of the clearest ways He guides us, offering timeless wisdom and revealing His divine plan and purpose. The Amplified Translation of Proverbs 15, 22 emphasizes the importance of seeking counsel, stating that without consultation and wise advice, plans are frustrated, but with many counselors, they are established and succeed. God often confirms His message through the counsel of fellow believers who have sought His wisdom. During challenging seasons or circumstances, when the path becomes rocky, do not be discouraged. Trials and tribulations frequently mark the path God has set before us. Numerous biblical stories recount great men and women who faced adversity on their journeys of faith. Just as the Israelites wandered through the desert before reaching the Promised Land, our trials may be preparing us for the destination God has ordained. In James 1, 2, 3, we are encouraged to consider it pure joy when facing various trials, knowing that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. Lastly, divine guidance is often accompanied by supernatural peace. Even when we don't know every detail of God's plan, when God prompts you to move in a certain direction and you experience peace despite uncertainties, it signifies His leading. Philippians 4, 7 assures us that the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. At crossroads aligned with God's will, you will encounter a peace that surpasses logic. It's as if God's gentle hand is directing your heart and mind toward His perfect plan. So, dear friend, discerning God's leading requires open hearts and His Word. The Word of God is crucial in guiding us to recognize His direction. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I pray that you would lead us in every aspect of our lives. Lead us in our families, our friendships, and the relationships with those around us. God, lead us away from temptation and deliver us from evil. Lead us to still waters, Master. When it comes to significant decisions in life, may the voice of the Holy Spirit guide us. Lead us in the gifts and callings that you have placed over our lives. Dear Master, we are seeking your voice for direction. Open our ears so that we can hear from you. We choose to trust in you, Lord, with all of our hearts. We choose not to lean on our own understanding, but to trust you. Lord, you are the Good Shepherd with you we shall not want. You make us lie down in green pastures. Lead us beside still waters. Restore our souls and guide us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Even though we may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil for you are with us. Your rod and your staff comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. 
anoint our heads with oil, and you are faithful. Lord, I praise your holy name today and acknowledge that you alone are God. Yours is the power, the glory, and the honor. Thank you, Father, for being faithful to equip me with all that I need. Your wisdom is unparalleled, and your power is unmatched. You provide us with more than we need. Whether it's healing, restoration, protection, or peace, we look only to you, Lord. Jesus, I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. For the one who seeks healing today, may they find healing in your arms. For the person who feels empty, may they find wholeness in your presence. For the one who feels lost, Father, I pray that they might find your word to be a lamp unto their feet. For those who have suffered heartbreak or loss, I pray that your love and compassion may fill them. May your love overwhelm and overtake them, Lord. Be praised, King Jesus. We call upon the Holy Spirit and invite him into our lives, our hearts, and our homes. May he give us the strength required for each day. May the Holy Spirit lead us into a future filled with your divine guidance. A future rooted in Christ. A future held in your arms. Holy Spirit, help us so that we can let go and move on from a past of sin and hurt. Lead us to Christ. Fix our eyes on the sacrifice he made at the cross on Calvary and turn our hearts to desire the things of God. I pray that you would renew, repair, and revive our hearts, minds, and souls. Give us peace where there is unrest, closure where we need it, and strength in areas of weakness. Fill the voids that may unsettle our hearts, removing any and every scar from painful situations we have experienced. May we learn the lessons you wish for us to learn and move on to become better believers in your kingdom. Even as I pray in this moment, Lord, I declare your word, which tells me that greater is he who is in me than he who is in me than he who is in the world. This means that you, King Jesus, have placed within me the strength to overcome adversity the strength to overcome the devil. And for that, I rejoice and thank you, Lord. Thank you for hearing my prayer, King Jesus. Amen. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. Having done all, stand firm. Stand, therefore having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet have put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts, to the Lord. 
Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance.